Hi, welcome to the Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE. We're going to talk about Compass, so let's activate Compass Config Settings Manager and specifically about this cube thing here. So many people uh, show us this cube, how is it, is it done or what settings can you use. We can use the desktop cube, we can check this out, we can rotate the cube, we can check that out and we have the 3D windows and maybe we'd like to have a reflection as well. So these four ones are actually the ones you should investigate. So first off, let's go to the desktop cube. Uh, maybe I should go to the top first, general options, and make sure that you have a desktop size of four. A cube has four sides, and so we have to have that one. And then we have here desktop cube. I've activated one big cube, so we can have multiple cubes as well. With Ctrl, Alt, and then the arrow, you see I have a special kind of cube now, which is multiple cubes, automatic is this kind and yes i know it's transparent we'll soon change it and then so being working on uh, two monitors it's actually better for me to show you how it looks when i do like this one big cube and then unfold the cube key control all down nice to know so the cube is in fold yes the background is already changed we'll show you that in a bit Behavior inside the cube. What happens if you do that? And you are actually inside the cube and you see out of it. That's what the stain, the, the, the point of vision, where am I standing? And moving the mouse is also, um, well, against, against uh, what we would expect. Going to the left is going to the right and so on. We're inside the cube. Not so interesting, I think. Appearance. The top, why is the top not colored? Uh, maybe because of our transparency, we'll check it out. Anyway, we can change colors here. We can make it a little bit uh, obvious that it has changed, like so. Okay. And if we don't see, well, we do see something. So because of the transparency, it's a little bit uh, not so visible. And the sky dome, is just one of our wallpapers I have. So the background, the blue thing, that's the sky dome image. We've um, added, or you can have animate sky dome as well. So now it's turning with me as well. And then transparent cube. So this is why it's transparent. If I take the normal setting, which is this one, everybody looks at this. Voilà. But making it transparent is just that a little bit more sexy. So we can look through the cube to the other side and that's also nice. So that's all of the settings of enable desktop cube. Here, this one. And now we're gonna go to the rotate cube. So uh, edge, flip, pointer and so on. What can we see? What can we change? The most important thing for you to know is Control alt button 1. So Control alt button 1 is your right left mouse click. That's all you need to know. And we are rotating it. We can rotate left with Control alt left Like so. And right. So if you don't have them activated, you can't rotate it with these screens. So you need to activate it. You can check out some other settings as well. That's the main thing. Um, then the 3D windows, when activated, what I did is elevate these windows that are open, so it's floating before the cube. So these settings can be changed, the setting, the window space, the window depth, and maybe the bevel corners, how thick the elements are on the side. So these are all possibilities. And you can change this even more in the, le the left or the right. So that's that. And then last but not least, you might like a cube reflection. So you enable the cube reflection. What do we see now? Something very strange. As you see, it's round. And then you go figure it out and they say, okay, bindings, 
behavior click everything open and check it out so fusion cap png it says reflection enabled fine all kind of things reflection mode jumpy so we'll have to go into that and here it is what i don't like is the cylinder you better say none for instance and then you have again our little cube with strange looking images at the bottom and the top so would i better go to here and say fusion cap no 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 fusion cap you go to your own beautiful wallpapers that you like and you just take one voila the matrix oh, close this one should be gone then delete and then another one for the bottom i think it was let's take also a dark one okay close compass cap gone let's move it a bit up this one delete and how does that look now we have the matrix on top and aha doctor who it was at the bottom so that's how it works now we have here these possibilities to even change further so we skipped one i think it was i don't think we shown cylinder yet oh yeah we think think we did so then we have sphere which is blah, not that nice but it's all possible and you must have uh, some admiration to see all these things work so fast on these older machines so it's great it's an accomplishment so <coughs> that's that and um, we conclude this tutorial about all these cubes uh, and we go back to some other issue in the other tutorial.